He's being sucked through a vacuum. 76. 70 so the 70 fit pot, first 75 were uh, failures, but this one, oh, it's going to be something. <laughs> uh, uh, an elongated Arch Hall Jr. He's in flavor country. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's Fred Flintstone's work. Da, 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 da. I can't help it. Richard Scowl? Yeah, actually he's the friendliest guy on the set. Well, that's yellow. Hell busy. How busy is he? <laughs> the love theme from Deadwood 76. Oh, Ray Vegas. Ride Shadow Fox. Are you still riding? Good. Technicolor, Technoscope, Techna Act, Mouthwash. God, he's going to have a song in this? Yeah, but it looks like someone else is singing it. Someone named Rex. Roger S. Word. back right after Anwar back. This is the whole movie. Well, you know. What is this called? Driftwood 76? Uh, I think it's Hawaii 5 0. Whoa, gravy train. He's 
got to drain the driftwood. Every once in a while, he likes to cop the feel from his wagon. Uh, sand people. Oh, that's just Mel Brooks. Howdy, boys. I'm Tennessee Thompson, son of Dixie. He ain't causing nobody no harm. Hi, I'm Chad. That's Peter. Uh, we're <laughs> trying to raise money for the Washington Redskins. <laughs> yeah. He ain't got nothing worth taking. Sure as hell, it ain't worth killing. Hi, guy. Oh. <laughs> He's part of the loyal order of water buffalo. <laughs> Just a load of pussycats, uh, uh, taking him to Deadwood. <laughs> well, that's my dinner. You guys are up to eat. Yeah. <laughs> White man sure makes big fool. Yeah. I've been a big fool ever since I had the General Grant in my sights at Shiloh. Didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> what you do, white man skunk? They ain't skunks, it's cats. They kill rats. Go ahead, help show. Yeah. All Indian cats just full of rats. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, if you didn't think the scene full of cat asses couldn't be that disgusting, here's Arch. I'm uh. so glad you have my son. Get the rifle. Yeah. Give me that pussy. <laughs> Give me that gun. No good engine. Neutral. Farmers. Oh, my pussy cat skunks, will you? Try to kill me, will you? I'm gonna blast your thieving head off! Don't be feeling your own soul timer. You ain't aiming to turn these rotten hyenas loose. Ooh, man. this varmint! Cause you no harm. Cause me no harm! They was gonna kill me, shoot me down like a rat! Be on your way. You can't trust them Indian boy! I said get! Ever since those Indians came and took our land, Hurry up, let's get out of here before you start singing that song about Vicky. Uh, uh, mumbled myself. I uh, thought this was America. Uh, fish sandwich. Huh? Deadwood. Well, you just better come along with me then, if you ever expect to get there. Oh, Michael, row your boat of show. Hallelujah. <laughs> Once there was this guy who, like an eagle on dark wing. V and ah. I'm in the cat business, boy. Yeah, but not for long. Okay. I throw them at people. Old here, Get I'll hire all kinds of workers to work hey, on my plantation, on you see. I'm on a dick farm. You make it sound He's got a easy. dick farm? Uh, Oh yeah, back then they it was either that or hemp. You have to go 
too. Reckon so. Digging it or taking it? How I resent that. Just for that, I'm not talking to you. Meh. The end. Oh. Ed, no. Ed Wood. No, Ed Wood 187? Yeah. How many of these movies have we sat through? It's a, it's a movie within a movie within a movie. Can a church in Deadwood. People can come to know the Lord. Who was it, Kate? Oh, one of the boys spit on the dance floor again, Charlie. You know how fancy is about that. It's like it's a nasty rabbit or something. As long as I'm working for you, Kate, we're going to run a clean place. Perch, hit. All right. <laughs> There's nothing clean here. Yeah. I wonder if Fancy don't feel his oats and decide to have a go with Wild Bill. Yeah. Well, Wild Bill is coming to town after Billy the Kid. Now that ought to be a real showdown. Yeah. <laughs> can't you do anything to stop these killings? Mrs. Stedman, I'm only the deputy, not the sheriff. <laughs> Mr. Harding? Where's the sheriff? Do you believe the kid's coming to town? John Slaughter says he's riding in from Santa Fe. Uh, can, that, can I touch your gun? I hear it, and I don't like it. They don't come any faster than Billy the Kid. Hubert, you're a long ways from being a gunfighter. I can outdraw anybody in town. Maybe you can, but gunmen are something else, boy. Hey, now, boy. You come on home and do your chores. Oh, oh Ma. See, I got two facial hairs here and here. Howdy, Hatshaw. Howdy. I see Bear Creek Johnny's at it again. Now, there's the smartest man in town. I'm interested, but not interested enough to actually get in the shot. <laughs> Someday he's going to be the richest man. Is that guy like three feet tall? Lord help us. These people, they keep coming. The young and the old into this place. Chocolate rain. People think only of gold. I need help. And we need a church here in Deadwood. Oh, I get it. He's sounds like he's inebriated, so he's the priest. From near and far, the miners gathered. While the priest got drunk. So we went for a walk. We brought our stuff. We saw some people, we took their food, and their horse. They brought along their wives and children. The trail was long, the nights were cold, a brand new day. The horse keeps changing color. Sam Bass put you up to that case? Oh, put your mind to rest, Fancy. Ah, she made good use of that first grade handwriting. He's trying to take over Deadwood. Nobody's going to take over this town. Sam Bass or any other gun slinger. Just you, eh, Kate? You alone. You. Flattery will get you nowhere, Fancy Poggin. <laughs> Scratches himself with the gun. Oh, they're at a shakies. <laughs> the aristocrats, that's great. Taught me to be polite. Or oh, fellow, maybe ain't got no more to learn, huh? <laughs> Is that Kevin Nealon? <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. Why would you want to knock his plum out? 
How do bets come in? Running about 50 50, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, when Billy the Kid hits town, Hickok better turn in his gear to Bear Creek. <laughs> I saw Hickok stand between two willows, draw and fire three slugs, and hit both willows at the same time. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of face you got there. Gentlemen, any kindness yeah, would be appreciated. Uh, gentlemen, it, but Are I believe you, you have my stapler. Uh, it's a red stapler. Well, now how do we know He's pushing that his sack. He's going for the church, preacher. Yeah, the suit you got in that sack. All right, now. Stop the toys. They're fancy old shoes. Oh, we was just running, Kate. Why, sure. Now, you wouldn't shoot us, would you, fans? <laughs> uh, the just fun and loophole used here, to be open. Take care of this. The town's growing, Miss Kate. New folks moving in. Someday we're going to have a grand place here. We're going to have a fine Guess what I'm trying to say is, I'd like to wear your skin. You getting soft, Kate? Supposing you just pick up Charlie. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's have a killer. And she's gentle, and she's hot. We got red cats, we got white cats, we got blue cats, we got green cats. That's very nice, thanks. Do I hear ten? Thank you, friend. I hear ten dollars now. Do, do, do I hear fifteen? Do I get fifteen? Somebody bid fifteen dollars. Yeah. Told this gentleman right here for ten dollars. Neighbor, you got yourself a real steal. Get him while they last, folks. There ain't many left. Oh. Put him on yeah. for this little beauty. The mother belonged to President Jeff Davis and her father. Well, <laughs> what am I bid? Five dollars. Thank you, neighbor. Five dollars. I got five dollars. Do it here, Kate. Wow, wow. Yeah. I didn't ask now, to be in this. Now, ten dollars now. Do it get fifteen. Forty dollars. Sold it to her right here for forty dollars. There you are, sir. She'll pair like a southern belle if you pet her. You're clammy. Oh, I'll pet her, all right. Thank you, Walter. This oh. here big fella growed up on freshwater catfish. He can whip a mountain lion. I named him General Beauregard. That's my old command. What am I bid? Five dollars. Sir, that's an insult to General Beauregard and his good name. Who make it How would you like one of them cats? Ten dollars. Now who make it? Me? Oh, you gotta be kidding, Fancy. Don't you scrawny looking thing. Besides, I have enough trouble with my girls. Yeah, they are pretty scrawny looking at that. What are boobs? There you are, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Kurt, I think I'll get me one of them cats. Maybe help my gal to sweeten up a little bit. Yeah, sure, take a couple. <laughs> Makes me feel right sad to part with Mark Twain. I call him Aaron County's Whiskey, the fine mustache. There you go. <laughs> That'll cost you $100, friend. That cat come all the way from Omaha. <laughs> You hear that, Ben? That cat came all the way from Omaha. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred dollars with the cat, mister. Huh? Well, now, take it easy, Sonny. You don't want to go getting yourself in trouble. Jesus. <laughs> Tell a kid who I am. Kid? It's such a shame You're that this movie here, was ben never hey. actually screened. Hey, I happen to be Kurt Aiken. <laughs> the money of the cat. Now, kid, maybe you the ribbon and cat said. throwing scene. We're yeah. Sam Bass's boys. Don't care who you are, the money of the cat. There be kid, ain't he, Kurt? I think they're maybe just trying to make something more repulsive than our tall. He sure talks big. Down in the panhandle, when punks like you hear our name, they jump right out of their back. Wow. Yeah. Now, where do you want to see? You mean that's do Dr. Demento? I don't want to kill you. <laughs> well, now, suppose you just leave it in your gun. <laughs> Boy, I said I didn't want to kill you, but you keep up with that big talking. <laughs> Kid, don't you know who I am? I'm Kurt Aiken. <laughs> well, now, maybe some Boy, of you Aiken. Aiken. That's what I heard. But maybe it's time they did. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. I, I get it. You have a belt buckle. Now, dude, you got to back up your talk. Now Belt buckle. See if you're as fast with that gun as you are with your mouth. Your pretty little mouth.
so come proclaimed. Come out, come out. Fast gun, Billy. <laughs> Billy, that's Billy the Kid. Billy the so Kid. Self-proclaimed teen Billy heartthrob. Billy the Kid, huh? Arch Hall Jr. gunned down two men today. <laughs> I'm Poker Kate. I run the green front. Poker Kate? Welcome to Deadwood. I've got a pretty fancy gunplay there, Billy. But I'm a warning you. Sam Bass will be madder than the devil when he hears that you gunned down two Who of said that? top boys. Yeah, well, I've seen a Billy here. Oh, he can take on anybody, anytime. Oh, it's the fastest gun I ever saw, Billy. Hubert, how many times have I told you to quit playing gunslayer? That's Billy the Kid, Ma. First it was Wyatt Earp, and now it's That's Billy, Billy the, the kid. Child to you. you. Don't look too much older. You ain't much bigger either. I That's Sean Estevez, Emilio's cousin. Kid, Come along with me, Crispin Glover. It's the Dr. D. Pinto Show. Boy, I've been thinking. Why don't you and me be partners? We both want gold. Ew. Now, I got the stake to get us started. Oh, huh? You got the guns to keep us in business. Partners are All right, as long as I'm not sleeping with you. Sounds good. We, we'll, we'll name it the, the Tennessee Mining Company. How's about it, Billy Boy? Okay. Good. Yeah, we don't need them to reenact the uh, those aren't pillows like saying from uh, planes, trades, and automobiles. 50 50 Tennessee. But that's half. That's right. Half for you, half for me. Well, look, uh, let's get ourselves a drink, and then we'll go find a mine, huh? Ten percent for you. Oh, They're going to go find a mine? Yeah. Press, Hello. legs. They call me Montana. Cigarettes. But, uh, I'm from New Orleans. Hey, you want to buy a little gal a drink? Sure. Okay. You know, you just bought yourself on the desk claims around these parts. Just a minute, sir. If this is the best claim around these parts, how come you're selling? You ain't got no choice. Can't work it on account of a old ticker here. You know the doc says that heavy work just might kill me. Yeah, I'm so, I'm going over and talk to my partner. Oh, he's gonna talk to the partner. <laughs> well, half shot. I see you finally got rid of that worthless mine. A fool and his money is soon parted. The kid's liable to draw on you when he finds out what you did to the old boy. That kid ain't gonna be around when Hickcock gets here. Who sold you this? Deputy Hart. Poor fellow, he's got a he's got a bad ticker. He can't work at it himself. Oh, Hello, boys. just the broken hey, clock? You bought yourselves a mine. Yeah, we sure did. Where? Up near the big side of, side of the pop. There's a red ragger fragger. That's what I said, size of the pop. It's gold. Size of the pop. Right, but that ain't all there is. Size of pop, size of bubble. Meaning it's engine country. Prospectors don't last long there. Don't pay fancy no call, boy. Like he said, there's plenty of gold in that mill. Gold nuggets feel right yes. at home. The <laughs> Montana sure is a cute little thing, ain't she? Looks like her boobs, tongues, sure. her tongue is sticking out. We call her our lady in red. <laughs> Come to think of it, you're kind of cute yourself. <laughs> you know, I was just about to say the same thing about you. <laughs> I'll bet you're a real ladies' man. Oh, no, I'm not one to brag, but I have had my share of fun in with the women folk in my time. That's probably Arch Hall's mom. Oh, I'll bet you <laughs> were a holy terror, handsome. Oh. Thank you, Kitty. Now, here's to your mind and Billy's success against Wild Bill. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right, I'm Arch Hall. The proper response when seeing Arch Hall. <laughs> I've never prayed more for the film to break. You can try to will the sprocket holes. They searched for gold. Yeah, Incest the goat? What? So you already were related to the goat to begin with? There seems to be some audio issues. You know, Tony the Tiger gave him that kerchief. Smells like my chamber pot. Really, boy? Balls, balls, my balls oh, fell off. Oh. <laughs> the new phone books are here. What's his name? Gay boy? Wow. Not since Rocky Three have we seen such embrace in the surf. Did you see all the dirt coming off of him? Oh yeah, the water was undrinkable for a few decades after that. Ass? Yes, sir. The big pot of stuff is gonna make us rich. I'm gonna make us a Terwilliger. We'll gonna get make a what? Terwilliger. We'll Terwilliger this whole area. Yes. A Terwilliger? You still drunk? Drunk out. Back in Tennessee when I was a youngin, I knew this fella. He struck gold in his bean patch. He witched it out. He's like he's hunting for water. Yeah. See it with my own two eyes. Old Daniel Terwilliger was his name. Well, you go ahead and laugh, boy. Yeah, laugh all you want to. He just happened to be the richest man in Tennessee, that's all. All the guy is Terwilliger. He dropped his poor meatball. He's mad because he forgot the picante sauce. If the Indians didn't know we're here, sure in the hell no now. Better take turns sacking in tonight. God, I hope the Indians scalp him. Well, out here in the broad daylight, I mean, <laughs> the moonlight, uh, Where are you from, Billy? they'll be easily found. Georgia? You old enough to fight in the war? Georgia 5th Regiment. I was 12 when I went in. <laughs> hey, do you know the Roseanne theme song? I'll tell you <laughs> Drift way out of here. It's a long story. Well, we got nothing but time. Well, after I got home from Gettysburg, I found nothing but ashes where my house once stood. 
fields were burned, horses stolen, nothing. Oh, it's really going to go on with the story, huh? My ma never recovered. Pa never came back. Heard he was killed up at Shiloh. So I just took off and headed west. Kept on the move. Uh, kid, I caught none of that. <laughs> uh, ugh. That's how you... You got your reputation, eh? Drifting. How many men you figure you you killed, Billy? I'm not Billy the Kid, Tennessee. My name is Billy May. You mean you're not the kid? I never said I was. They, they think you are in town. Let them think it. The way I look at it, there's going to be a lot less trouble that way. Less trouble? With Hickok and Sam Bass around? Boy, you're in for a yeah. heap of trouble. It's less Never trouble if they think you're a, a gunslinger. And I took you Let him it. think it. He's Let him think it. As the genuine <laughs> Billy. That's right, Tennessee. Yeah. Ends up getting <laughs> shot in the ass by a kid. going to be my gun and your stake is going to make us rich. Then he has to wait for Flip Wilson to become the, the sheriff kid. to redeem himself. Still the same gun that helped you. Yeah. Billy Boy was like a storm cloud. Look, we paid for this song, we're gonna use it. He's taking a shit at the silhouette. Probably should have taken my pants down to do that, but <laughs> guess I'll walk it out. Almost sounds like the sad music where after Ralphie gets a C plus, all the other kids are gonna get what they want for Christmas. And then snowball. Stay awake, you hear? You, you ain't thinking about maybe, maybe cutting out your, your partner, are you, Billy? There ain't gonna be no partners or no. Why nothing. is he waking him up in the middle of the day? Not like my oh, stuff. it's just, just really uh, bright uh, in Texas. Blue skies at night, you know. Good noon, I mean good night. Maybe I'll cook beans. Really? What?
coyote. A coyote. What a divine diviner. You just get buzzed by a UFO? No, that was the owl from Clash of the Titans. Oh. Yeah. Is that an old cell phone? Yes. Can you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Ah, they're reenacting Hulk Hogan and Zeus. No holds barred. I hope they didn't use stuntmen in this. Crocodile Dundee would have agreed that that was a knife. He'd probably say, Dah. Ah. What are they even doing? I don't know, they stopped actually doing anything a while ago.
and further wandering. Well, look, if you gotta pee, just go. You don't have to run this far away. Scalp him. Scalp him. Wasijole mitakwa. Iayapo. And yes, that's real Native American language. What Don't question it. Did he say E A E I O? Yes, but it it means something different in uh their tribal language. Gestapo. Land of Lakes? Uh, hey. Oh no, he's dead. Face does look like that. Little bird, spotted snake's daughter. I guess that's about the whole story, Billy. But oh, thank God. <laughs> See, living with the natives has given him a no belly. More. Yes, and I'll never stop. But the South surrendered. No Yankee took my sword, and they never will. Wow. Never. You saw what they did to our land. How they treated us. Is he gonna slap them? Can't talk, Peen. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> but, Paul, don't you understand? The war is over. If you want it. It's been over for several years, Paul. There's no more fighting. There's no more fussing. There's no more feuding. You're wasting away your life. Here with my Indian friends. I found something, Billy. I'm up here the with Indian my Indian friends. Look at Red Cloud. 
I met with Gall. Crazy horse. Rain in the face. Together we can I just hope he gets to slap him. Yeah. You mean you're planning war? The Sioux were planning war. I'm what's left of an army. And I, I believe in them and their cause. The Yankees are doing to them just what they did to us. But when we're ready, the Yankees will know such hell as they've never known before. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. If we can destroy Custer, the Sioux can force a treaty and retain the Black Hills. And then this will become the headquarters for what's left of the Confederacy. Billy, you must join us. Oh, I think you ought to come with me and forget this whole crazy scheme. They need men like you in Deadwood. Deadwood? When I go to Deadwood, I'll take an army of warriors and I'll burn it to the ground. And I'll raise the Confederacy. That's what he says every time he wants to go to Walmart, too. <laughs> I'll take an army of warriors and I'm going to burn it to the ground. <laughs> you wait and see. Soon you'll hear what happens to Custer. Boy, you're talking like a madman. I am a madman. I've got good cause to be. Now you stay here with us. You'll think different. I'll teach you how to choose scenery. We have margarine, too. <laughs> How do you like your eggs? <laughs> I got a song for you. I hope your name's Vicky. She probably told her friends, like, hey, I'm going to be in this movie. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got that from General Longstreet. What the hell is it? White leader. I mean, I guess I could pawn this off. I mean. <laughs> I'd love to see the horse start crapping right now. <laughs> now he's going to hit on him. Why'd he get his bathroom plane. mats so spread out? Oh, yeah. Billy? This is Chief Bigfoot. Chief Gall and Crew Dog. Friend of Crazy Horse. My friends, my boy. Well, he's boys. mentally ill horse by today's standard. He's actually wearing a hotel beach towel. I taught him how to handle pistols. Fast is the best of them. Ain't that right, Billy? Yeah. His chief just got out of shower. <laughs> Tonight, you sit with our council. Oh, I said I had to go. Why don't you leave these people to their ways? You don't need to teach them white man's war. Teach these men? Why, I learn from them more than they learn from me. These chiefs are great generals, great as any white general. Gall could have stood up with Stonewall Jackson. The crazy horse and crow dog, all fine field generals. Well, tonight we'll feast and 
Then we'll counsel, and the Confederacy will be born again, Billy. What the hell? I thought that was like his belly shaking or something. Uh, the racist Indian chant. Hey, uh, hey, uh, racist Indian chant. I'm just burning, doing a neutron dance. of whatever this is. I gotta be going, Paul. Well, son, what are you aiming to do? I'm sorry, Paul. I don't think your way. Well, go then. But you'll come back. You and I don't have a country. This is our country. Our home. Oh, See, every movie home. they're in together, he has to lecture him. Mm-hmm. Great chief, I do not want any part of war. I only want gold so I can go back to Georgia and live in peace. peace. His Indian name is The More gold You Know. Should think peace. <laughs> you may dig all the gold you want. My braves will not harm you. His Indian name is Dances with Dumplings. <laughs> Bye, Paul. Billy Boy had met his true love. Indian girl They boinked in the wigwam She would be I see two horses' asses in that scene Fill her soul Yep, the riveting shaking his head at art scene And stay out! Becomes a snuff film. Somebody kill a salesman? Oh, that's a nice view. So what, she killed his friend for him, or...? What are you doing here? I stay with you. You can't do that. I haven't had my you shots yet. Your You're a little young to be running about all alone. Do you understand what I say? I am not alone. I am with you. You can't stay with me. 
Why? Because you can't, that's why. I stay. You can't stay. I stay. You see this shirt? It's belonged to my partner, Tennessee Thompson. Something's happened to him. It's not safe here. My people not bother you anymore. There's other people here besides your people. Now go. I said go. Can't get. back she has to explain to the horse what she even saw in him oh I have a good feeling about this Is that Randy Quaid? Sure looks tender. <laughs> yeah, and Robert Carradine. I was in Revenge of the Nerds. tells me these are bad guys here. They haven't established themselves as bad guys yet. Except for, you know, attempted rape and, you know, assault and... Uh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's a good thing you sent her away so she was safe, Arch. Yeah. Between that and, you know, letting people think he's Billy the Kid and, uh, you know, being Arch Hall, he just does not make good decisions. are tall anymore. He's wishing he was Daryl Hall. Thanks, Doc. 
Ah, playing the favorite saloon song. Da 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 It's like this whole movie is shot with lost footage. Boys, I want to have myself a house like old Andy Jackson's place. With those big white pillars, all pretty up. And I'm going to wear imported clothes and smell sweet. Boys, you're looking at the richest man in Tennessee. So he's the richest man in himself? Here's in the Wells Fargo Bank in San Francisco, Mr. Thompson. Just blind here. Forty thousand dollars. And this is just a start, you say? Just a start, Mr. Thompson. You say the engines got built. Yes, poor kid. I tried to save him, but couldn't. They almost cost me my life. Oh, it's such a shame, you know, because Billy could have been a rich boy. Yeah. Billy, Billy, oh, oh, oh. Billy I, I, I thought you was dead. Yeah, I just heard what you thought. I thought you was dead. Oh, we struck it rich, Billy boy. Look, here's a trap for $40,000. We're in the mining business, boy. Here, I, I just signed a deal with Mr. O'Hara here. He's going to do the mining first. All we have to do is just uh, sit back and spend it. Tennessee tells us you're not Billy the Kid. I, I, I just thought I'd tell the truth, Billy boy. You know, there ain't, ain't no reason for not telling the truth. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure glad to see you alive, Billy boy. I, I worried something terrible about you. Come on, boy. I'll buy you a drink. You know, kid, Hickok's arriving from Cheyenne tomorrow. He'll know if you're the kid or not. You know, guy, your fake mustache is on upside right down. Kid. Don't get any ideas about leaving town. Not before tomorrow, that is. You ain't expecting Billy to go up against Hickok, be you? Well, he wouldn't have a chance. Let's get that drink, boy. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, Miss Kate, and Mr. Foggin. Oh, now I'm glad they didn't yell cut. And cut. How well do you know Wild Bill, Kate? Well enough. Why? There's a lot of people in town that Make still sure to keep cleavage in shot. A, a lot of money's riding on him. A little talk with Hickok. And we could clean up on this. Yeah. Hey, you may not believe this, but, but I tried to save you from those engines, boy. Huh? Right. Almost cost me my life, too. I thought you met up with some kind of trouble when I found your shirt with blood on it. Oh, I, I tore that. I was working on the wagon. <laughs> you thought that I was... <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> you thought I was dead. I liked it. Uh, celebration. Celebration. Yeah, let's have a little drink, huh? Chucky, let me in another bottle. Dolly, <laughs> take this bottle into spec. Okay, Chucky. Old Fezziwig, alive again. So they're not watching hey, two broke girls. What happened to your face? <laughs> Tangled with a wildcat? Yeah, baby, she sure was some wildcat. <laughs> 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 Give it here, 
boy. Keep it here. Is that David Hasselhoff, way. like right before he ate that cheeseburger from Wendy's? Mm. Yeah, I think he's still trying to pick that thing off the floor. <laughs> She's screaming. She screamed because of the sick shot and then she saw her. Just go crazy and start shooting everybody. You out of your mind? You just gunned down two more Sam Bass's boys, Billy. Pretty fancy shooting there, Billy. I'm betting 500 more on the kid. Any second? I'm gonna bet that he's gonna be more fancy. See if Jimmy Stewart will make me a steak. This is the instrumental version of Billy Boy. I wish they gave us lines to say. Throw that away. The shoelaces? It's whatever you want it to be. Uh, uh, Chevy Chase lip syncing. That while Bill Hickok would be there to gun him down. Tennessee comes knocking. Will you answer the call? The doc told me about that engine gal. So that's why you gunned down them two men, huh? I'm sure you didn't come here to say that, Tennessee. So what do you want? I come to tell you this, that the Hickok just rode into town. He checked into the hotel. Uh, Poker Kate and Fancy Pogg, they, they's with him right now, having a little talk about you. And they, they know that you're not the kid. 
come tomorrow, you'll be dead and they'll be richer. A lot of money being oh, please say he'll be dead tomorrow. tomorrow. I, I've been telling everybody you ain't the kid, but nobody will believe me. He's going to have to go up against Jack Palance. You're worrying about me again, Tennessee. You, you ain't uh, fixing to take Hickok on. This movie is missing, oh, Palance. Boy, nobody's that fast. Not even Herb or, or Clay Allison. I didn't say I was taking anybody on. Yeah, but you're thinking it. I can see it in your eyes. Wow, that Listen is a me, skull. Leave now, or you're going to be dead tomorrow. <laughs> oh, all you damn gunslingers are alive. Maybe. It ain't just you kiss and then you run. run. Sam Bass is going to be here too, and he's going to be firing mad when he finds out that you've gunned down four of his boys. If you stay here tomorrow, you, you, you're just aching to be laid in the grave. It's mighty kind of you to worry about me so, Tennessee. Why the sudden change of heart? Boy, oh, tell you what I want to do. I'm going to make you a full partner again, on one condition. Now, you leave now while you can. Uh, uh, go to them uh, friends you was telling me about. Uh, them, them engine friends. Yeah, your friends. Is it me or that mine you're worried about, Tennessee? Confounded young and seven is an army mule. Tennessee? What was that? Uh, he said, show him part of the mule. Good night. Good night. Night. He goes yeah. to bed angry every night, just like Thanks Randy Quaid day. yelling at people. Good morning, Francie. Good night, Bill. Good night. Jessica Rabbit. Well, Kate, looks like we're in business. Hickok you think he'll know notice my mustache is upside us. down? Hmm? Don't be too sure, Fancy. Hickok's no fool. Neither am I, Kate. I've got to go make you over. It's Jim Carrey. Mm. Mr. Hickok. Yes? You don't know me. My name's Tennessee Thompson. I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow, if you got a few minutes. Seems like a lot of people want to talk about tomorrow. That boy going up again you tomorrow, he ain't Billy the Kid. Well, why is he passing himself off as the kid? Well, he never actually said that he was. The town just sort of took it for granted after he gunned down Ben Hayes and, and Kurt Aiken. He gunned down Speck Greer and Hawk Russell, too. Those boys are pretty fast guns. Takes a good man to do that. What is it you want, uh, Mr. Thompson? I don't want Billy to, to get killed. Well, no one's forcing him into a showdown with me. You know how young it's are. Yes, I know how they are. They all want to be a, a big man. Look, Mr. Thompson, I've never seen Billy the Kid, and I don't know if this boy is him or not, so I can't take a chance. Mr. Hickok, I I just saw you uh, talking there to Fancy Pog and, and Poker. Oh, Wild Bill Puffy Shirt Hickok. Wait, that's Ringo. I understand, and, and I've heard that, that, that you're a square shooter. If you are, Mr. Hickok, you won't gun down that boy tomorrow. Are you over fast, Hubert? Pretty soon. Folks are going to be hearing about the Badlands Kid. <laughs> the Badlands Kid? Is that what I you're always put the character of Focus the at the end of the kid. screen. Yeah, the Badlands Kid. And I'm going to be the fastest gun in the Dakota Territory. I bet Hubert could outdraw Billy the Kid. Yeah, I bet he can. Yeah, I've been thinking about taking him on. Really? <laughs> he ain't going to take on Billy the Kid. Yeah, you listen to me, Ernie. I can outdraw you any day. You come home and finish things up. Oh, Hubert, your mommy wants you. I'm gonna get you, Ernie. Did he just shake his fist in anger? Yep. Nice. What time is it, Fancy? We'll be rich in ten minutes. How you betting, Fancy? Hickok looks pretty good. 
Turn around, Herschel. You're on. Oh, uh, where's, where's your money at? My money's on Hickok. I still or at least that's what I'm praying for. He ain't no faster than Billy the Kid. Got 20 bucks as he is. Hey, he comes down. He don't look so tough. You want to take him on? You don't scare me. Not a big talk, kid. Yeah? Gomez. like five more times. <laughs> yeah, he's just been walking around the building. He's got like the Flintstones background thing going. He has to touch everything that he walks past. <laughs> more blood spilled here will only sink us deeper into the mire of sin. Let us unite in the brotherhood of good. For the Lord so wrote, man must know, man must walk alone. Like Buffalo. Morning. Morning, Wild Bill. Kate? Morning, Bill. Looks like a nice day for the showdown. What time is it? He kind of looks like Joe Flaherty sometimes. Still wondering if he's Daryl Hall. Where's your kid at, Fancy? Kid ain't gonna show. Where is he, Fancy? He'll be here. He's better. I think he's afraid to show up. Where is the kid, Fancy? Shut up, Ramsey! Oh, here she comes. Somebody singing Billy Boy in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Billy, don't do <laughs> You can hear his marching around the building music going on. He's still walking around in circles. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. Billy, you're gonna get yourself killed? Arch just waves at him as he walks back. <laughs> Remember thou art mortal. Remember thou art mortal. Remember thou art mortal. Hey, Dr. DeMontel, thanks for coming. A fistful of datas. I hear you came to kill me, Billy. I came to Deadwood to dig for gold. John Slaughter says you came to gun me down. I never saw John Slaughter in my life. Are you Billy the Kid? No. He is the Kid! What's your name, son? Billy May. He's just trying to talk his way out of it. Peacock's afraid of it. Rebel, rebel. Oh, 
want to see is people killing other people. Someday I'm, I'm going to read that good book of yours. We can begin together. There is a verse in Matthew that I uh. think would be appropriate. <laughs> Here. Me? Read for yourself. A biscuit corn. Preacher, I confess, I, I can't read. No. I don't That's the big I reveal. Say. Forget it, Billy. Are you in relation to Boone, Meg? He's my fall. You know him? Sure. On a buffalo with him a while back. Here he's living with the Indians now. Yeah. Here he's a real weirdo. Keep it that way. As he goes off into the sunset. Spengooly. This disappointingly did not end in the bloodshed that it should have. But Crispin Glover is still there. Hey, you. Billy May! Maybe Wild Bill from Radio, but I ain't. And I aim to prove it. got demon eyes. <laughs> oh, Ma, I like to sleep on my left side. <laughs> What? He'd never seen a black man? I am sorry, ma'am. But you see, I had no choice. Was I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> only 15. <laughs> oh, then it was okay sorry. for him to try to shoot me. Shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. Oh. Are we just going to stand here and watch a 15 year old boy murdered? No! Now, wait a minute. And I'm telling you, he's not guilty. He shot that kid in self defense. Just how do you know it was self defense? They're going to talk to him. He saw the whole thing. He did do it in self defense. Hang is too good for that, Billy. Who keep out of this, you know, good little varmint? Whoa, doctor, please. <laughs> How's my mustache? Guess you heard about your boys. Yeah. Too bad. Count looks pretty riled. Ought to be. Same fella just gunned down a 15-year-old boy. Sam, don't you think it's about time we had a hanging around here? Yeah! She's always looking for things to be hung. Where's the kid now? You mean there's hope for this movie yet? We might see Arch at the end of a rope? Billy boy, you gotta get out of town fast. They're coming to hang you. Sam Bass is leading them. Oh, they got blood in their eye, boy. Come on. Let's get out back way. Take Little Bird back to her people. Uh, what about you? 
Never mind about me. I'll meet you at the Indian camp. Now get. Go on, Tennessee. Hey, look, I ain't gonna leave here. If you with me, they might hang you too. Now get out of here. Go on. Shouldn't be hard to spot the one blonde-haired guy in the West with a huge head. Get to the stable. Here he is. He has sh he shot at me. He is fun to shoot at. <laughs> it's probably a daily occurrence for him whenever he's leaving from somewhere. People just shoot at him until he goes. Now everybody's just shooting wherever. This is for Ega, this is for Wild Guitar, this is for Wild Rabbit. Oh, don't, don't even forget about the sadist. Oh.
It's the cavalry. Oh. And out of the Indians, want to hang arch too? Bring in the kid, Hank. It has to hold the weight of a pig. to a fair trial. He had a fair trial. How about the Stedman boy? Did he get a fair trial? My boys, did they get Stedman. a fair trial? Stedman? Oprah's Two, boyfriend? Boy disgraced a young Indian girl. You know what they did. And this kid took the law into his own hands when he should have gone to Deputy Harding. But no, he killed in cold blood. Shot Ben and Kurt when they was only funnin'. He hangs. You're not going to hang him. I'm not going to let you hang him. <laughs> We've been going in a circle for an hour. I'm not going to let you do it. Get out of the way, preacher. Or you're gonna get hurt. If you hang this boy, you'll have to kill me too. Preacher, that tin cup of yours needs a filling. Now you go on back to town and get it filled. What is chamber pot? When I say move, you move. Lord is my shepherd. This I movie needs more chamber pots and people throwing their feces pads. and urine on Maybe other people. Me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. It would soul. class it up. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. What is he standing on a log? What? Probably a pretty important part that should be on the screen, right? Nah. No? I, I tried to tell him. I, I tried to tell him, but... You ain't want to listen to me. You, you won't listen to me. <laughs> Plenty of other kids are going to get what they want for Christmas. You know where to stick those. Is that like a garbage sticker? As he mourns uh, his son's acting career. 
on Heyman's Hill. And as two careers are ended, we ride off into the sunset. Or sunrise. Who knows? Hey, what the hell? Let's play that Billy Boy song again. Almost makes you want to hear Vicky. This is going to be your new ringtone, this song. <laughs> oh, because it, it says Billy in the name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 